Welcome to the Spiritualist Desert Church Sunday service. If you are joining us via Zoom, your microphones will be muted throughout our service as we record our services for posting on our YouTube channel. And if you're viewing us on YouTube and would like to join us for future services live, please send us an email request and we'll get you that information. Again, thank you for joining us today. A warm welcome to everyone physically here on Zoom this morning, all of those later on YouTube watching our service, and especially everyone who has joined us today from the spirit side of life. My name is Jen Rawson, and I will be your chairperson for this morning. I'm a trustee on the board of directors of Spiritualist Desert Church. I co-chair the pastoral committee with Louise Barkdahl, and I am an NSAC ordained minister. Joining us today will be the Reverend Cozy Allen delivering our sermon and greetings from spirit. Chris Ahrens will be leading us in a guided healing meditation. And Lynn Collier and Alice Robertson are filling the role as our Zoom moderators today. If you would please join me now in centering and focusing ourselves as we open our service with an invocation. Let us pray. Infinite intelligence, we give thanks for this day and this time that we can share with one another. We welcome the opportunity to share in sacred fellowship. May our hearts and minds be open and awakened. And may our message speaker and message bearer be inspired, bringing us guidance from the higher realms to assist our growth and our spiritual evolution. In love, light, and truth. Amen. Spiritualist Desert Church is in Las Vegas, Nevada, and is a chartered member of the National Spiritualist Association of Churches, headquartered in Lilydale, New York. The NSAC Spiritualist Manual provides us with the definitions of our religion, and I would like to share these definitions of spiritualism and of being a spiritualist with you now. Spiritualism is the science, philosophy, and religion of continuous life based upon the demonstrated fact of communication by means of mediumship with those who live in the spirit world. Spiritualism is a science because it investigates, analyzes, and classifies facts and manifestations demonstrated from the spirit side of life. Spiritualism is a philosophy because it studies the laws of nature, both on the seen and unseen sides of life, and bases its conclusion upon present observed facts. It accepts statements of observed facts of past ages and conclusions drawn therefrom when sustained by reason and by results of observed facts of the present day. Spiritualism is a religion because it strives to understand and to comply with the physical, mental, and spiritual laws of nature, which are the laws of God. A spiritualist is one who believes as the basis of his or her religion in the communication between this and the spirit world by means of mediumship, and who endeavors to mold his or her character and conduct in accordance with the highest teaching derived from such communication. As spiritualists, we have no dogmas or creeds, but we do have nine principles that we strive to live by. If you would please join me now in declaring these principles. We believe in infinite intelligence. We believe that the phenomena of nature, both physical and spiritual, are the expression of infinite intelligence. We affirm that a correct understanding of such expression and living in accordance therewith constitute true religion. We affirm that the existence and personal identity of the individual continue after the change called death. We affirm that communication with the so-called dead is a fact scientifically proven 
by the phenomena of spiritualism. We believe that the highest morality is contained in the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. We affirm the moral responsibility of individuals and that we make our own happiness or unhappiness as we obey or disobey nature's physical and spiritual laws. We affirm that the doorway to reformation is never closed against any soul here or hereafter. We affirm that the precepts of prophecy and healing are divine attributes proven through mediumship. Thank you so much. It is my pleasure to introduce our speaker for today, the Reverend Cozy Allen. Cozy is an ordained minister, certified medium, commissioned healer, and national spiritualist teacher. She currently holds the office of vice president on the NSAC board of directors and is the pastor of the Golden Rule Spiritualist Church in Charlevoix, Michigan. Cozy is a valued mentor and friend to all of us here at Spiritualist Desert Church. Please welcome the Reverend Cozy Allen back to our platform this morning. Good morning, everyone. And I know that you all just said good morning to me as well, even though there's white little microphones in the corner of your house. Isn't that wonderful how that works? I would like to... Thank everyone for being here with me today and sharing this moment in time together. How fortunate we are to be able to do this. You know, one day, I'm sure people are going to get sick of this, but I have to tell you. I love spirit. I trust those from the world of spirit, unquestionably. And this seems to be a song that they enjoy, as do I. Oh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that brought new hope to me. I was lost, but now, now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. It was grace. That taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relieved how precious it that grace of the hour I believe through many dangers, toils and snares, 
I have already already come tis grace and brought me safe thus far and grace relieved me home when we Ten thousand years, bright shining as the sun. We know less days to sing, sing God's praise than when. Amazing grace, oh how sweet, how sweet the sound that brought new hope to me. Now I'm found, I was blind, but now, now I can see. I was truly blind on my pathway through life. Uh, I truly could not nor would not see all that was around me. I could not see all that emanated uh, from uh, my fellow men and women. I could not uh, see um, because I chose to be blinded. Blinded by darkness. Blinded by fear. Um, blinded through all negative aspects of life. I was not allowed to see because uh, I would not allow myself to see the light. Um, not uh, the light from my fellow men and women. Not uh, the light that shone behind dark clouds. Um, but I uh, could not see the light that emanated within me. In me as a vehicle of life, uh, my friends. Um, and once I uh, was uh, able to start seeing a light within me, I felt a lighter. Once I allowed uh, the, the love of my fellow men and women in to me, I uh, felt uh, the love uh, within me uh, begin uh, to get strength. When I uh, allowed myself to accept love from infinite intelligence, my friends, then I found the light within myself become even brighter. And we all have walked this journey that I 
have a walk on because of that, my friends, is a life. It is a life that we all journey as we walk this pathway in the physical existence. We are blessed, my friends, to be here with one another. We are blessed to feel the love, the unconditional love from infinite intelligence. And once we have accepted that love from our infinite intelligence, then, my friends, we accept the love from ourselves. We touch into the true self, my friends, the higher self, my friends. We live in a world where there is chaos, but once we sift through all the chaos, we truly find the self, which is in all of us, my friends. It is everywhere around us. It is that fruit, that, uh, that fruit of life, that wonderful spark of the divinity, which gives us a stronger life. And when we can look in our mirrors, my friends, in our mirror of life, there will reflect back to us the essence of who we truly are. We are, my friends, a part of the divinity. The part of divinity that is the essence of infinite intelligence and that is dwells within each of us. And once we have found that, that essence, once we have uh, felt uh, that unconditional love of self, uh, then uh, the expression that we give to others will be the truest, truest self we can give to help our fellow men and women, my friends. We walk this journey not alone. We walk this journey with others, not just those who are here with us today, my friends, but with all of those in the, the universe, all of the, the in, individuals that sustain us, that help us on our pathway. Because my friends, we are strong, but we cannot hold the world singly. We hold the world and demonstrate the unconditional love together with one another. We are not a one individual on an island, my friend. We are a multitude of spirit entities with a soul encased in this physical body where we nourish each other with our love um, for one another, with our love for humanity everywhere, my friends, and not just in a small, small place. <laughs> so I say to you, <laughs> as you walk your journey, my friends, this day, I would ask you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath and allow that spark of divinity to come even further forward. So as our eyes open, we will uh, see that light of the divinity in all those that we come in contact with this day and every moment of every day. We do not stand again on an island alone. We are not to be
restricted to just self, my friends. We are to be, and we are and always will be a part of one another. So I say to you, reintroduce yourself to that infinite source of life that dwells within you. Look through your eyes to the depths of your very being, and there you will see the soul. And your oneness of the divinity that you are sharing with one another, my friends. You are and will always be your best friend. And once that understanding envelops your very being, then all persons that you come in contact with will be potentially your next best friend because you will meld together one with the other. And is that not the definition of um, peace on earth and throughout the universe? Is that not a prayer that we utter? I believe it is. And once we have that peace of heart and mind and self, we have touched into that divinity that dwells within us and our lights shine so bright. So I say to you this day, may no darkness envelop you again. May there be no darkness in your life throughout to shadow your walk on this journey of life. <laughs> May you throw your limitations of self aside and know that you are not shackled with any limitations in life, my friends. You truly can be and are being the greatest expression of infinite intelligence this day and when you open your eyes if you're gifted another day my friends your eyes will open and there your divinity will shine bright for all of humanity god bless you all on your journey this day and all days to come my friends god bless you <laughs> Thank you, Cozy. That was such a beautiful message from Spirit. This is the time in our service that we set aside for our love offering and announcements. If you would please join me in our offertory prayer. Infinite intelligence, we accept the gifts given freely out of love and dedication. We give thanks for our continued abundance, both material and spiritual. We ask a blessing on the givers that they may be rewarded many times for their selfless generosity. In the same spirit, we dedicate the use of these gifts for only the highest and best. Amen. We continue to accept uh, love donations by cash or check to the address on your screen. In addition, we have PayPal available through our website, or there's a link posted in the Zoom chat as well. And again, thank you for your continued support of Spiritualist Desert Church. Um, as you're aware, our physical building is still closed due to the ongoing pandemic. Our board of directors and the pastoral committee remain active, and we are available if you have need of assistance. If you have questions about spiritualism, or if you're interested in membership, please reach out to us via any of the methods listed on the screen. Our weekly newsletter also has contact information on the last page. If you would like to be added to our email list, you can again let us know uh, via the email address there. 
And you can see any of their previous Zoom services on YouTube. If you search Spiritualist Desert Church, you will find our channel. Our newsletter also contains details about upcoming events. This Thursday, February 17th, is our second unfoldment class of the month at 5 p.m. And if you would like to attend, please be there by five because we do lock the room down for privacy concerns for our unfoldment class. The board of directors is also looking for people who would might be interested in joining a committee. We're trying to put together some ideas about how and the technological things as well of adding music back to our services on Zoom. So if you'd like to be uh, involved in that, reach out to us via that email address again. We also like to recognize our visiting credentialed workers today. We have with us the Reverend Vicki Holman and the Reverend Paula Molino from Spiritualist Desert Church. The Reverends Brad and Betty Goslin are here, as well as the Reverend Lorraine Radis, the Reverend Sharon Watson, and the Reverend Dr. Rosemary Calderalo. Next week's speaker will be the Reverend Vicki Holman. And now we will move into the healing portion of our service. And we would like to invite you to join us in a guided healing meditation led by Spiritualist Desert Church member, Chris Ahrens. Please join me now as we center and focus our thoughts on healing and pray the prayer for Spiritualist Healing. I ask the great unseen healing force to remove all obstructions from my mind and body and to restore me to perfect health. I ask this in all sincerity and honesty, and I will do my part. I ask this great unseen healing force to help both present and absent ones who are in need of help and to restore them to perfect health. I put my trust in the love and power of God. Amen. And now Chris will lead our guided meditation. Good morning, everyone. Let's get comfortable. Feet flat on the floor, if possible, and breathe deeply. Relax completely. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Let's do this a couple of times. In through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. You are all relaxed now and ready to let go of anything that's troubling you or weighs heavy on your mind. Let it go. Let it go now. Picture yourself out in a forest on a warm summer day. There is a pleasant light breeze and you feel safe and protected. You hear birds singing joyfully. The air is heavy with the scent of pine trees and wildflowers. As you walk deeper into the forest, you notice all kinds of little insects going about their business. Bees are busy collecting honey, beautiful butterflies fluttering around loving life. It feels so good to be here. Being so deeply connected with nature fills your heart with peace and joy. Keep on walking a little deeper into the forest to explore. You are safe and protected. Safe and protected. You are coming up to a clearing 
And in the middle of this open space is a Native American teepee. It is decorated with symbols and colorful handprints. In front of the teepee is a Native American Indian woman standing. She is looking at you with a smile on her face. You are smiling back and she is beckoning you over. As you walk towards her, you notice her buckskin dress. It is highly decorated with colorful beads and hair pipes. She is inviting you inside the teepee and she invites you to sit down on what appears to be a buffalo hide. She's sitting across from you and is looking deep into your eyes. As you look at her face, you can tell she is a wise woman, probably an elder or a shaman of her tribe. There is a little fire going and some water boiling in a vessel. She turns around to gather some dried herbs that are hung up on the teepee wall. She's making a tea, a special brew just for you. Whatever you need right now in your life or need help with, she's preparing a remedy for you. And while she's doing that, you notice the air in the teepee is heavy with scents of buckskin, herbs, and sage incense. It feels cleansing. The tea is brewed and ready for you to drink. Every sip you take feels healing, cleansing, and rejuvenating. It is a special tea indeed. You thank her for being so kind to you and show your appreciation with a warm hug. It is time to leave this peaceful place now and head back. With a last hug goodbye, she's telling you that you are welcome back anytime to visit. So let's walk back through the forest, back to where you started out from. Breathe deeply again. Walk on back through the forest, back to the beginning. Say goodbye to the bees, to the birds, to the wildlife in the forest. Come on back, breathe deeply, wiggle your toes, breathe deeply, move your hands, and when you are ready, open your eyes. Welcome back. Thank you, Chris. We continue to maintain our healing list and send out absent healing prayers on a daily basis. If you wish to add someone to our healing list, Please send us an email request with their first name only, please. Also, please remember to include your pets because we love them too. We now are going to move into the message portion of our service. By definition, a medium is one whose organism is sensitive to vibrations from the spirit world and through whose instrumentality intelligences in that world are able to convey messages and produce the phenomena of spiritualism. A medium proves the continuity of life through evidence provided by spirit. Please understand that all mediums are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. A psychic reads your energy or your aura. A medium brings through someone who has lived here on the earth plane. It's also important to know that a medium is not a medical doctor, and won't diagnose or prescribe. 
Also, please be aware that all, although we record our service for YouTube, the message portion of the service is not posted on that site due to privacy concerns. As our service comes to a conclusion, we'd like to invite everybody to join us afterwards for a virtual fellowship when everybody can chat for a few minutes and just pretend that we're actually in church and sharing hugs with each other. We will close our service now by asking the Reverend Cozy Allen to deliver our benediction. Let us lift our hearts in prayer. Infinite intelligence, we do give thanks for the day that's been given to us and that all those that have been able to be here and join with us today, that they received a message that will help them on their pathway. We uh, appreciate all those from spirit that were here and give so much thanks for them being with us and assisting us on our journey throughout all the days to come. We ask that each and every one be guided, guarded, and protected on their pathway and that we meet with one another again very soon. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining us this morning. Have a great week, and I hope your team wins the game today. <laughs>